web design is broken. That is so satisfying to say. I think everyone should try it out just once. I know you want to try it out. So today we're going to be talking about the problem with buying creativity. Um, now this is really important for you if you are looking to buy a website, if you're looking to improve your current website and if you're not entirely used to dealing with uh, people that work in a kind of creative industry. Now there's one person that's really, really pushing um, hard on this subject. Um, that guy's Blair Enns and he wrote the book The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. Now he's trying to tackle it from the perspective of people that are in creative businesses. Um, and one of the things that he identifies is that creative people can sometimes not be the best people to make business decisions or to run businesses and part of that is tied into the fact that a lot of people that have a creative skill start a business as as a result of working in that industry or something like that the thing is that a lot of people that have a creative skill often have what Michael Gerber calls the entrepreneurial seizure this is that thing that makes them go hey I'm sitting here for being paid £10 an hour doing this when I could be doing it for myself and I could make £40 an hour. And so they take that bold step and they go out into the world of business. But they're driven by this kind of creative urge, the ability for them to implement their creative skills. Now, the, the problem with creativity is that the creative application isn't always the solution. And where these two don't align, you get frustration, you get miscommunication, you get breakdowns in relationships. Now, as a web designer, our business is considered to be a digital creative business. I've long kind of held some kind of, I've long held a bit of exception to this because although there is a lot of creativity in what we do, we're a lot, we're not, we don't exist for the sole purpose of being creative, you know, um, we exist to solve problems. A lot of people that start web design businesses do so because they love making websites. Um, but okay, not entirely true. A lot of people do it because they think they can make a fast buck or they think they've got related skills, but that's neither here nor there. The love of making websites is not sufficient to be able to create a website that is fit for purpose and that solves the challenges that you face as a business. This is the problem with buying creativity and it is for you as the consumer of creative businesses to make sure that you're focusing and identifying the problems that you're facing, the challenges that you want to overcome and you, you've got to own that space when you're dealing with creative businesses because it's their job to solve those problems creatively. You own the problem, they own the creative solution for that problem. And if you can both agree on that as a working relationship, then hey, you're gonna get on fine and do great things. My name is Aaron Taylor. I'm helping you to have better conversations and make better decisions when you're buying a website. Till next time.